Yo, what's happening guys, ddb 89 here, back on some more Dragon Ball Legends news, hint, tips and information. And guys, we are here to talk about the overhaul of the Ultra Space Time Rush uh, game mode event, whatever you want to call it. Now this is the easiest way, the easiest way in the game for us to get chronos and summoning tickets for free summoning tickets. Now if you are new to the game and or you've been fearing playing this mode because you feel it's too long, they have made it 10 times easier for you. So fear not no more, okay guys? Now guys, also if you are new to the channel, please make sure you do hit that sub button. Join us, it is free to hit the sub button. Also drop a like for the video if you do like the content or if you feel any way throughout the video that you enjoy it, drop a like for it and also drop a comment because I do try to get back to you as soon as I can. But without further more, we're gonna go on to this. Now the first thing we're gonna check out is of course the news. Now, a cheeky heads up, I have actually played the Ultra Space Time Rush, just the first part, and I thought, you know what, I'm going to make a video on this. So, the Ultra, Ti uh, uh, the Ultra Space Time Rush overhaul. Now, this is mainly focusing on the Legends Limited Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. Uh, they have a big theme around the Cell and Gohan as we speak. Now, the event period is from the 2nd of September till the 16th of September. Now, this is from the maintenance which happened yesterday, so... We're talking about it now, it's a day late, but still. So it says here the updated content Z Awakened, uh, Awakened Z Powered Gohan, and all kinds of Zenkai souls have been added to the Ultra Space Time Rush Exchange Shop. Do you know what? I'm reading it from, uh, from my own head, to be honest. Uh, claim victory in the Rush season and aim for Zenkai Awakening 7 or 14, as it well, it's 7, isn't it? Plus, we've made a game balance and adjustments and improved gameplay by altering the amount of stages for the enemy. So, let's go through it quickly before we go through what's actually happening. Is They have edited the Ultra Space Time Rush for Zenkai Gohan. So, I'm feeling this is the future of it. They're going to make the Ultra Space Time Rush mainly for Zenkai units. So, probably looking forward, the next one will be the Cell, the Red Cell unit they've just um, dropped for Zenkai. The OG one, not the new cell. And uh, they used to have each level, so there was five levels or five stages, would have ten levels. They've changed it, and I don't know if it's for the better. It's made it ten times easier, so you should be able to smash this out as long as you have characters of level 5,000 and know how to dabble in the game a little bit. Even if you're new, a few 5,000 characters, and you should be able to smash through it. But it made it easier, and you should be able to go through it with all within about an hour to two uh, at best. So it says the amount of battles per rush. Now rush level one is uh, before there was ten battles, like I said. Now they've made it one. So you're playing one battle straight off the bat. Then at rush two, which is the second stage, you will get three battles instead of the ten. Rush three, you will get five battles instead of the ten. Rush four will be seven battles instead of the ten and five is the only one staying true to itself it's ten out of ten of course as it goes levels get higher uh, it will get harder so level one rush one will have the one thousand rush two will have the two thousand rush three will have the three thousand rush four will have the four thousand and five thousand and rush five respectively they haven't changed in levels at all but it's just the amount of battles you get so they have made it easier in total you're doing what 17 22 25 26 26 fights and you're going to smash all this out of course the rewards have stayed the same but you're getting them a lot quicker so it's very very easy um and then it says pretty much talks about the character info so we've got of course the super saiyan 2 gohan um legends limited of course of course it is now once again i have not got this character as of this video so you will need him before you try and of course attain his Z powers in the shop because they will be useless for you. You won't be able to add it on to anything. So of course they have the summons out which you can use on him. And of course here are some of the rewards. So we already know the rewards that we get. We get the Ultra Space Time or the Ultra Rush Limited um, tickets. Now you need five of those, I mean 10 of those, sorry. You need to collect 10 of those to of course uh, summon. If you are new to the uh, game, of course, you need 10 loads to summon. And it is a multi-summons and one guaranteed sparking. And, of course, you will need, uh, you can only hold, sorry, 20 of them. And the rest will go to your gift box or your prize box. So keep an eye on that. So you only get two multis. Then you have to go to your gift box if you have a surplus. 
the usual stuff about the ultra space time rush is there we already know and of course you will get your 500 chronos sometimes they do like to spice it up a bit and put it to a thousand like they did in the last season which was really great for me and of course they increased the amount of tickets from 18 to 32 once again that was beautiful and the medals now the medals you would have to use in the exchange shop which we're going to look at in a second and it's pretty much just tells you there we've got of course the new awakened uh, equipment so that's the go i mean trunks one uh, which pretty much just increases his uh, base strike defense from 10 percent to 20 uh, base blast and attack to 15 percent and his uh, blast attack when battle style ranged attack a range type to 10 percent and of course uh, a strike defense of 10 percent as well so that's mainly for saying red hybrids so once again this unit this will be mainly for the zenkai gohan so we're going to quickly look at the exchange shop before we look at the thing so like i said you need to collect your uh, rush medals which are here now as you can see i've got loads of them and as you can see the second one down is of course your youth garden you can only collect 20 of them as we speak so if i wanted to collect 20 of them it will cost you 2,000 of these medals, which isn't really, sorry, not 2,000. What am I talking about? It will cost you 70,000 of these medals, and you will get, of course, 2,000 of these Gohans. Now, I'm going to exchange it just to see. It might actually give me it. So I've already, I've got them, exchanged them, but I cannot use them because I haven't got the Gohan. So as you can see, if you haven't got the Gohan, you can still get it just in case in the future you get them, and you'll get an extra few um Z souls on top of it, or Zenkai, sorry, or Z abilities, Z powers on top of it. And then, of course, you're going to want to start grinding out all of your Zenkais going from red to yellow because I believe these are the ones necessity for the Gohan himself. So make sure you are using those wisely. And now we're just going to quickly look at the mission itself. So it is down here, 13 days left as of today. And as you can see, I've already seen one of them because I was just going through it and thought, yeah. So the first person you fight is, of course, uh, Frieza. And the way you want to do it is this, this last pot boss. You want to have a red unit fighting him, okay? And then you go from here, which you'll see here. These are the characters you're going to want to fight. You've got the three characters in the second one, uh, which, once again, they're very easy. They've changed it as well, so you're not fighting three characters at a time as well. You'll see they go from one character, two to three, and they stay on the three because they cannot add any more. Then we're going to go to the four. So this will be the seven units. Always look at the strategy hints. So it tells you what type of characters will uh, be best against them. Just so you can buff up your characters to be honest, the max well, and then we're going to check number five, which should should theoretically be the hardest. As once again, I did say they are at the uh, highest Zenkai. I mean, sorry, highest um, level there. And just see your points and rewards. So here are all the points and rewards that you can get through the stages. I'm not going to go through every single one of them, but they are there for you. So there you go. There's your 100 chronos. And each one you're going to get 100 chronos as well. So that's 500 chronos there, as well as your tickets, which... Are very nicely to have especially when you want to do a cheeky little summons in the background but guys that is it for me today if you want to know any more information about these type of things make sure you do sub to the channel make sure you are dropping likes so i know what type of content you want to see and of course drop it in the comments because i'm not a mind reader but guys that is it for me today like always don't forget to like subscribe and comment for more in the future and until next time peace Thank <laughs> you.